but I just I can't tell if this video clip is doing this justice because it doesn't even look real it's just absolutely gorgeous in every single way oh when my mum sees this video she's gonna freak out Oh, look at those babies. Love Virgin Atlantic. I'm on the cappuccino and Peter's on the beer. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> That's yours, motherfucker. <laughs> cheers, gonna... everybody. Oh, let's cheers anyway. Oh, yeah, let's cheers. 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 I'll tell you what I've got. We are in the... Big Smoke Tap House and Kitchen, which I specifically wanted to come to in Terminal 2 of Heathrow Airport because we're going to be eyeing up this Flight Mode Pilsner Heathrow Exclusive. And then we've also got, this is what we're drinking now. So it is a unfiltered, vegan friendly New England pale ale with tropical fruit and peach flavours and a smooth mouth feel. Mm. Well, let me try the smooth really mouth nice. feel. It looks lovely and creamy and fruity and nice. It does actually. <sighs> lovely. Basically get the best of uh, everything. Nice sweet corn fritters. Oh, that looks good. That bread looks absolutely lush. It's Look awesome. at that. Bit of salt on the eggs. So Look at that. What? Okay, I just realised you could see a snake. I'm really loud. <laughs> Look at that fritter. Look at that fritter. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Is it spicy? Yeah. Those fritters were bloody good then. Oh God, that was a lovely, lovely breakfast. So just to keep everyone in the fucking loop, because I've not even explained where we're going or what we're doing. Um, I did in the last video, you can check that out. Basically, we are on our way to Calgary, and then we're going to Bam. And we've got 10 days in that part of Canada. We've got a group tour situation going on. And then we've also got um, like a, a friend meetup that we're going to be doing and um, hanging out with them. So um, lots of surprises and fun things happening along the way. But to be honest with you, I'm just going to let it all happen. You know, I'm getting used to doing this. Our Limburg trip, things just happen to us. And then on this Calgary trip, things are just going to be happening to us. I mean, we've got a rough idea of what the activities are in the tour, but for the most part, we're just going to let it all be a surprise. So um, I'll let it be a surprise for you guys as well. So our flight is Air Canada, which excited because I've not flown with them before. And you know how I get when I get a new airline. I'm like, whoa! It's currently delayed. We've just had breakfast, as you saw, which was really, really nice. Pete's still eating his, but I eat fast and mum was small, so. And yeah, the plan is we're going to sit here in the big smoke and uh, have a couple of bevs and then board when we're ready to board. We've got priority boarding as well because it's like technically a business trip. Not really. But yeah, we've got priority, which I'm very excited about. I don't think they do champagne though. Virgin Atlantic priority, um, premium economy, I mean. Give you a little glass of champagne when you're bored, but I feel like Air Canada aren't gonna do that. They haven't got that kind of style. So um, we might just get a bottle of water or something, but you know what, be happy with that at this stage. Anyway, ducks, I will uh, catch it on the flip side. This is our plane. Sit down and do a nice little review. So, we are getting an amenity kit, and there's a bottle of water there. And we've got a nice private little bit of space here, so happy days. 
So, it's a satchel. Sunglasses at a push. So it's a satchel bag, and then there's bits inside. And there's like what's inside. Can you hold that open a minute? Right. So. Um, earplugs, socks, eye mask, dental kit, and that is it. And you get it all in a bag. I'm so happy.
temperature, oh, isn't it? It's a nice temperature. A Just nice put temperature. our seat belts on. Fantastic. Everything's been extremely smooth, hasn't it? Yeah, mate. Apart from getting my seatbelt on. Yeah, that's... That's one step too far. Can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the smoothest. Uh... Oh, thank goodness. Are we good to grab some of this water? Yeah, they're for us. Wonderful, thank yeah, you. Very, very I've been trying to stay hydrated all week and uh, on the plane as well. <laughs> we've been warned. We've been warned about altitude sickness, <laughs> but I feel like that's just. It's, we'll be fine. I mean, we we'll might. Be fine, I think. It's just the UK, the highest peak is like 1,000 metres above. No, I don't yeah, even no, know. Don't, you don't even know what you're talking about. That's I how, Googled it. That's how little elevation we have in the UK that we don't even know how high it is. No, I, I live on the sea level. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, then, like, watch it's fine. Room. Look, we're not in Mexico City. We're no, not going to die. Mexico we're not City, climbing right. Mount Everest. It's going to be fine. Let's hope. So we have just checked, well actually we haven't checked in, we went to the desk and our room isn't ready so we are waiting in a lounge for our room, look at the state, I'm fucking knackered, hopefully we'll get our room and then the only way, the only way to get through it, I'm not even going to say it, I'll let you guess. Hi everyone, so we have checked into the room. This is room 444 of the Fairmont or Fairmont Bam Springs. Lovely plush bed, nice little cheeky sofa. Ouch! Gorgeous view, telly, chocolate. Let's have a look what's in here then. Bottle opener, glasses. Oh my god, coffee Nespresso pods. This is dead posh. Mini fridge. And they've got some International Delight coffee creamers in there. That's what we like to see when we come to North America. Nice spacious room. Couple of glasses. Oh my good lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi everyone. Oh, look at this shower. Mmm, very sexy. And we've got shower gel, conditioner, shampoo on the side. Enough towels to sink a battleship. Some body lotion. Cotton rounds, cotton buds, cotton buds. Soap, shower cap. Oh, I needed a shower cap. I packed my own fucking shower cap. I packed my own stuff half the time and I don't even need it. And then we've got a speakerphone, alarm clock, charging station, Bluetooth speaker, basically 
Pierce Brosnan in the, that Simpsons episode is in our room. Hal? Oh yeah. There's Hal. Hal. Gorgeous, gorgeous room. Lovely bit of light going got a through. Bit brittle, but don't film it because our names are on there. I may have already filmed the brittle. With an espresso machine, everything's wonderful. We just need to wait for our bagums, and then I think we should go and meet Mark. Yeah, why not? Hey? He's an eight minute walk away in the bar I wanted to go to, or we can just go down for canapes. What do you reckon? Should we go for some canapes? Got some stuff. Hello. So it's day two of the trip that we're doing with Pete's work colleagues. And um, we're just going down for breakfast. So yeah, last night I just drank way too many cocktails and like was chatting too much, having too much fun, basically. So this will probably be in the first bit. But yeah, gonna see what the breakfast is like. And then there's gonna be a talk. Then we've got a brewery tour later. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. There's round. <laughs> It's so much better than the pig, it's not a guy. Fruit, yogurt, potatoes. Morning, how you doing? Eggs. I know it's your second day. Croissants. What have you got? Potatoes, brothers, vegan, in brackets, egg. Jamms. Jams. Jams. They've got waffles. Just heading back to the room for a second and then um, we've got a talk with Ed, this guy who's uh, climbed loads of mountains and um, I'll put his details in the, the video so I don't think I'll be able to film the talk but no, it's absolutely incredible. Um, he's basically just going to be doing like an inspirational... I've gone to the wrong room. Inspirational talk about everything, and then we've got a brewery tour. And uh, after the brewery tour, it's a free for all, so we've got lots of stuff to do today. I'm very excited to go into, into the big league. So that was my dream and my vision based on that book. And I knew there was a lot of steps to take, and I thought, well, the first step I have to take obviously is to get the hell out of Illinois. So, right out of high school, I decided to move to Seattle, Washington. Not only to go to college there, uh, but more importantly, to start climbing. And I've read a lot of great books about American Himalayan climbers that started in the Pacific Northwest. And if you've been to Seattle, it's a beautiful city uh, surrounded by amazing climbing. You know, we have the Cascades, we have the Olympics, and our iconic peak, which you can see from downtown, uh, is Mount Rainier, 14,400 feet high. Uh, and it gets hammered by Pacific Northwest storms. I mean, for me, I thought this would be the perfect training ground because it had all those elements of a, of a mini Himalayan experience. It's a pencil. So I know I'm gonna be erasing and changing all the time. And that's what we did. We said, it's too early to climb Everest. We're not gonna give up. We're just gonna go down and wait for better conditions. And so again, we're a day ahead of all these other people. And on the day that we then went down for Camp 3, we're now passing all of these other people on their way up. This stream of people with very high expectations on their way to the summit, and we're going down. Um, and that book that he wrote changed my life. And also because of that book, I always carried an extra pair of gloves. Right? <laughs> Learn from other people's mistakes. Um, but his last, last sentence he says in the book is, we all have our own Annapurna. 
I think that's an amazing metaphor for life or for business. You know, we are all challenged. Sometimes we don't want to be challenged. Something is fall, falls in your lap, but sometimes you seek the challenge, right? You're growing a business. You want that effort. You are climbing every day. You're going to another level. I mean, this year you achieved a certain level of success. Mark says, good job, you guys, you're awesome. So we're now doing like a little mini walk to the World House pub where we went to yesterday after the talk. And um, the talk was basically with this guy called Ed who um, has climbed all, I want to say, 14 peaks of the mountains in the Himalayas. It was a very inspiring talk. And I'll insert some clips, just a few snippets of the kinds of things he was talking about. But um, yeah, he was really good. And we're just with some of Pete's friends here, colleagues. And we're just gonna take a little walk. Got my shoes on. <laughs> so after this, the plans for the rest of the day is a brewery tour on a boat. Um, don't quite know how it's gonna work, but very excited for that. And then I think there's dinner and then just some more sort of more free time. So more time just to do things and have cocktails and enjoy the scenery. But this is our first kind of full day where the activities are going to be starting. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of taking it at a nice sort of leisurely pace. I am a bit scared of maybe seeing a bear. But, yeah, we don't have any bear spray. <laughs> but we shouldn't be, I don't know, if I see a bear... I'm sure this video will get uploaded somehow. But yeah, we will catch up with you in a little bit once we know where we are. we have got to navigate this rocky terrain. But yeah, see you in a bit. Horses. Yeah, so that is the Bow Falls Trail. And we're just walking up the steps now to try and get a nice view of the waterfall that you just saw from a distance this is just absolutely insane the walk up here was literally just like 90 steps and it's worth it and everything but i actually cannot breathe so i guess because we are at an elevation they did say that certain things um would make you more out of breath but i just i can't tell if this video clip is doing this justice because it doesn't even look real it's just absolutely gorgeous in every single way oh my god look look where I am right now Do you like them? It's just potato, crispy potato skins and then a spinach dip and this is the acacia spatzel. I can't help it, whenever there's a acacia spatzel on the menu I have to get it, because it's rare. I hope, I hope it's not too oniony, right? Food tour of the world. Yeah. 
get away with it. It's all right, yeah. It's um the well, the actual noodles themselves are quite thick. Mm. Really nice. This is Lake Miniwanka. Minawa Minawanka? <laughs> you can't say it right. What? No, I can't say it. 